And then there's another thing that came out over the weekend that I thought was really interesting and had to do with the commissioner and home runs. We're on a pace right now where these teams are going to hit a combined 1,000 more home runs than last year. Stat of the day, <laughs> stat of the day, tap, tap. stat of the day, stat of the day. Here comes that what? Stat of the day. A little early, but I'll take it, though, with our stat of the day. Six minutes into the program, I like it. But uh, the commissioner came out and was talking about maybe there's something up with the baseball. Uh, Major League Baseball finally admitted that there's something going on with the baseballs this season. The commissioner said, now this is Thursday, that baseballs have uh, contributed to this year's historic home run rate. He was saying that uh, there's less drag on these baseballs due to the pill that's in the middle of the baseball. I don't want to go too deep here. Bill Nye, science guy here on you. I guess the pill in the center of the ball. um, So the drag on the baseball is extremely low. And I guess they had some scientist or somebody trying to mention, you know, know, come up with what exactly this means. Drag is incredibly important in determining how likely a hitter is to knock one out of the park as baseballs become more aerodynamic. They travel travel further, given a certain initial velocity, a deep fly ball that might have been caught at the warning track and instead go out into the first row. A 3% change in drag coefficient can work to add about five feet to a well-hit fly ball which can turn increased home runs league-wide by an astounding 10 to 15 percent. It was compared, you know, the numbers were compared to the low drag, uh, the low drag to the numbers that uh, were uh, produced in 2017. Home run rate spiked. 6,100 home runs were hit that season. That record is on pace to be shattered And now they're talking about maybe you have 600 more home runs this season. That's not one of those, you just barely broke the record. (laughs) It's 600. This season, 16 players have already hit at least 20 home runs. Last June, four players had hit 20 home runs. In 2017, it was seven players. The commissioner didn't say whether or not the league planned to correct the issue moving forward. Why would you? Following the home run spike in 2017, the balls seemed to fall back to normal because the home run total dropped back to 5,500 in 2018. Still pretty high, but nowhere near the record. Okay. Is this really about the baseballs? Could it be maybe about the players? If you're the commissioner and you've got 500 more home runs that'll be hit over the course of the year. Maybe it's 600, maybe it's 700. Who knows? Why not just blame it on the baseball? It's this little pill. Okay, well, what do I do with that little pill? I can't suspend the little pill. You know, it's like, all right, you know, technology, they made the little pill in baseball better. I can't blame that on the players. Nobody's cheating here. No one. Well, okay, maybe that Oakland A's pitcher just got popped for 80 games, but he might be the only one. I'm going to guess you probably have maybe a little combo platter here, maybe something, maybe something in the water there, and maybe something in the baseball. But, you know, launch angle, like all these things, we kind of trick it up and, okay, don't look over here. I got something shiny over here. It's launch angle. Oh, look at the launch angle. Meanwhile, you look over here, you go, wait a minute. Todd Frazier, I think it was Todd Frazier yesterday, hit a pop-up. He threw his bat. He thought he was out. It went out. He's like, ah, just missed. Oh, home run. Okay. Yeah, Paul. It's a little pill, all right. (laughs) Wow. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV. Stream for free on BR Live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.